I want to talk about Virgil Van Dijk. Well, be that. How how far can he go? I mean, as high. I, I mean, can, can he be the best player in the world? Can he can he win the Ballon d'Or? Is really what I'm asking you. Um, yeah, <laughs> like the Ballon d'Or is judged well up until Modric winning, and Modric got it because he won the European Cup, Champions League. Brent hates me calling the European Cup. That's what I say. Um, and then he almost guided Croatia to a World Cup, like Croatia, you know, a tiny nation, but an unbelievable football nation. Um, and Virgil van Dijk could end up winning the Champions League now. Liverpool got 97 points. He's that record, nobody gone past him. Liverpool have kept, was it, 26, 28 clean sheets. Um, Holland are in the UEFA Nations League. If he wins that, I mean... There's an argument that there's, there's a small Argentinian, Argentinian, Argentinian yeah. that could win the Copa America yeah. and could have an unbelievable Copa America and then it'll be between those two. I think it's between those two. Yeah. Do you think he needs... Do you think... <coughs> first of all, do you think Van Dijk needs to go and win the Nations League? And do you think Messi needs to win the Copa America for, for him to... Sorry. For him to uh, sort of put his stamp on the Ballon d'Or because... Right up until Van Dijk won the Ballon d'Or, or sorry, won the Champions League, it, it was Messi nailed on for this season. Um, uh, yeah, it was. It was definitely a clear. He was the favorite. Like I don't know if he was nailed on because of the way Barcelona tailed off, and they, they lost a couple of Real Fame as well. Mm. Um, he's had such a brilliant season again as always, Lionel Messi. But I think Messi needs to win the Cup of America more than Van Dijk needs to win the Nations League. 